everyone. This is Scott Stengel from the Melco Applications team. I'm here today to answer a question we get oh, somewhat often. Uh, which machine model do I own? It's gray. Well, there's a lot of gray ones. So today I'm going to demystify that for you. Um, we're only going to cover machines from the last 20 years, so starting with the Amaya, with ThreadFeed, up to the current uh, machine. If you want help on an older model, um, that's really simple, or if you want more information about the model that you have here on the list, um, that's all available on the Melco-Service website. Here are all the older machines from uh, post-20 years. And here uh, you can find information, the operating manuals, you can find uh, parts manuals, uh, tech manuals on um, any of these models up here. Okay, so where do I find the uh, serial number of my machine? That's really easy. It's always located right on the right side of the neck of the embroidery machine. Uh, here's what it looks like. A um, little more details. Of course, what you're looking for is the serial number. Um, the date, the FL is the manufacturing code, but if you want to know when it was manufactured, this one is the 14, so that's 2014, and the 43rd week. So the 43rd week of 2014. Okay, so uh, here is the list, and I will make it full screen so you can see it better. Um, feel free to pause me and <laughs> go look on your machine, write down the serial number and come on back. <laughs> all right. So that's really pretty much all you need for the different models, but I'm going to give you a, a little bit of quick history of them so you know kind of the differences. We won't go into the, the detailed history, but just what's different about each one. Okay, so uh, the first one that came out is the Amaya. Um, this is sometimes called the uh, Big Red or Red and White. Um, this was the first machine um, Melco produced with thread feed. Um, <clears throat> a, a telling tale of which model you have here is also by looking at the trimmers. So you can see that this had a very squared trimmer and also you can see the hook guard that we had for it. So this model is sort of easily identified because it has a pretty much square cylinder arm, uh, the arm that the, the hook and the bobbin um, are in. Okay, so that goes through this range. Um, <clears throat> then Melco came out with the Amaya XT. This was a uh, darker gray in color, of course, badged with the Amaya XT on the front. Um, this was the first machine that had a full round cylinder arm. This is being hidden by the lettering, but uh, full round cylinder arm, very small. Um, a telltale sign is the trimmer, of course. If you remove the needle plate on any of these, you'll see the, the trimmer. Um, a telltale sign is that this had a clip that fits over the trimmer that you pop off to clean and oil. Also has sort of a forked tongue like a snake here. One of them's bent up, one of them's uh, straight out. So that is the XT trimmer. Um, following that, Melco came out with the XTS machine. Um, this was a lighter gray in color. Um, it had a different uh, base on it, and uh, it was badged with XTS. Um, also, the Bravo machine um, was out at this time. Some of the Bravos have the XT trimmer, but most of them have the XTS trimmer. Um, and then you can tell the, um, the XTS machine by what we call the ACAT trimmer, ACA trimmer. Um, this is a back and forth motion, just like the XT was. A telltale uh, sign is it has this snap ring right on the top of it. So this was for both Bravos and the um, XTS. Some of the Bravos had XT trimmers when they first came out, um, but they looked the same, but here you can tell by the, the model numbers. Okay, <clears throat> then Melco came out with the EMT-16. Um, 
this is the same light color. Um, it had a different trimmer type, which is the S95 trimmer. So you can see that the cutter is actually in the outside of the hook. There's no cutter up above it. It all did it all at once. So this is sort of a, a telltale signature of the uh, EMT-16 machine. The S95 uh, hook and trimmer um, it also had a different lower casting on it, so you can remove the table. This is wide open, and it had extruded arms um, with a different base on it. So that's a telltale sign um, of the EMT-16. It also added a thread dampener up here, which uh, calms down the thread as it's sewing. Um, that was the first model that had that on it. After that, um, came out with the EMT-16 Plus. This machine looks the same as the EMT-16 roughly um, with the new uh, base and, and open area, thread damper, all that. The difference of the EMT-16 Plus is that it um, had brand new electronics in it, all redesigned electronics um, that did a lot for thread feed and uh, other parts of the machine. Um, you can see this usually right on the side. There was a sticker that said EMT-16+. Plus. Now, uh, the current machine is the Melco EMT-16X. Um, this machine is really easy to spot because um, it has a different lower arm than the XT through the EMT-16 has. Um, and also we have the Bravo X, which is a similar lower arm and thread dampeners and all that. The way that you can see this, uh, notice this machine is that it has a red lower cylinder arm, so telltale sign. Um, some people have updated their uh, EMT-16 Plus machines to the X trimmer, so um, in effect it's an X machine. Um, has a, a the, th the Cutter is in the needle plate, very heavy needle plate on it, flat on the top, but the telltale sign is red on the sides. Um, it also had a new thread tree on the top that was just a little bit different than this one with non-telescoping tubes. Um, so hopefully that cleans up, clears up every uh, question you have on which exact model do I have? and now you'll be able to better communicate in social media with questions and anything like that. So hopefully this helps you out, and we will catch you next time.